Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part eight of my WordPress news theme tutorial. While well, we've come a long way from this original HTML slash CSS little template that we created to what we have right here, which is the finished blog part of our theme. The only problem is whenever you click on a page like that, you get this mess. So in this part of the tutorial, I am going to fix all the other individual pages. It sounds like a lot of work, but it's not going to be. Okay, over into our code. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my archive.php page, my index.php page, because I'm going to be pulling a lot of information from there, my search.php page, and my single.php page. And we're going to edit all of those files. So I decided that I wanted to have the featured content tool on every one of these pages because I just thought it looked nice. So I want this on every single one of those pages. So knowing that, I have a bunch of code that I need to copy and put on each of those pages. So I'm just going to jump into index.php and I'm going to start right there and I'm going to scroll down until I get to main content. And all this code's available on a link underneath of this video so you can get it. So I'm in index.php and I just copied that. Now I'm going to jump into single.php and right after get header. I'm going to paste that inside of there. Then I'm going to jump over into search.php and again right after get header I'm going to paste that inside of there. I'm going to open up page.php again right after header and paste that inside of there. And then I'm going to jump into archive.php go right after get header paste that inside of there. And while I'm inside of this guy I'm going to scroll way down here to the bottom and just get rid of get sidebar because I'm going to be bringing in my own sidebar for all of this information. And again, I'm going to do the same thing for page.php. Jump in here, get rid of get sidebar, because remember I have my own sidebar. Jump into search.php, get sidebar at the very bottom of the page. Need to get rid of that also. And then single.php, get sidebar, get rid of that. Make sure you keep get footer though. Now that I'm in single.php, I have to make a couple other different changes here. So I'm just going to scroll here. And then right here where the beginning of the loop starts, I'm going to come after there and I'm going to put a div inside of here. And it's going to be class type equal to article content. And just leave that exactly like that. Then I'm going to come down here where it says template path meta and all that. I decided I don't want that, so that's gone. Then on top of that, I have to come in here where the title is going to be displayed and change it to what I've used in the past. So I'm going to go class is equal to article title and close that off. And then I'm going to be copying and pasting this a bunch of times later on throughout this tutorial. And to really simplify this, I'm just going to get rid of that. And again, this is an H3 tag, so we want to close off that tag. And what I'm going to do is create a link. Reference is going to be equal to PHP, the perma link, which if you can't remember, that is going to get me the link to the original article. Easy enough. Close off that tag. Open up the PHP again. And then I'm going to say I want the title. Close that off. And jump up in here. Close that off. Then I'm going to close off my PHP. Close off my link, the closing link tag. Got H3 inside of there. And then I'm going to put a break statement inside of here. All right, so that's going to print out both the title as well as the link to the actual content. So I'm going to copy that because that's going to get pasted in all the other files. So jump over into search.php. And I want to get rid of this right here that's going to bring in navigation for search. What it's going to do is it would output older posts, newer posts at the very top of the screen. I find that to be kind of irritating, so I got rid of that. I'm going to replace the title with my code. And then, of course, I don't want to forget to put my div that's going to wrap everything up here. So I'm going to put in div id is equal to post list. Then I'm going to jump into page.php. Again, look for where this code right here, the, the beginning of the loop begins. Right after that guy, I'm going to come in here and type in div id is equal to post list. And then down here where the title is, that's not going to work. I got to copy and paste in what I need there. And then jump over into archive and we're going to do pretty much the same thing here. We're going to look at down here for the beginning of the loop. I'm going to come in here, put my div for my post list again, just to get my styling right. And then right after it says post class right here, I'm going to come in, get rid of that title and all that information and paste in my article title that I had before. Now let's jump back and continue doing this. All right, so now I'm back into single.php and I'm going to come down here to where it says entry. And I'm going to take this out because I have to put my own custom code now. Create a paragraph, class is equal to, and then I'm just going to put in post excerpt because this is previously what I used before. I could be copying and pasting all this from the index.php page, but I just kind of thought that was a little bit irritating. Then what you're going to want to do, put in PHP, the 
content. Get you the content for that. Close off the PHP code and then close the paragraph tag. And then I'm actually going to copy all this code. This is gonna be real easy. Now I'm gonna jump into search.php and then I'm gonna look for entry and then right here where entry is, see, entry. Doink, got that inside of there. Straighten that up a little bit. Jump into page.php. Again, look for the entry part. Come in here where it has content and replace it with your own code. And then we're gonna jump over into archive. Again, look for entry. There it is, paste it in. Now you got your own stuff again. And then just to finish off archive here all together because it's almost done, right after these two divs here, we need to close off post lists. So I'm gonna come in here and put div, put that inside of there. And then you might wanna put yourself a little comment that says ends post lists, just so you know in the future if you ever see it, like what div specifically is being closed there. And then after your end while, you're gonna do pretty much the same thing. Come in here and put div, and then again, put a little comment maybe ends main content. All right, now archive is completely done. So let's file save archive and there we got done with the archive, we don't need that anymore. And now we're gonna fix up everything else here individually. Actually, before we leave, I'm gonna grab this template path meta blah 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 thing here, copy that, and then jump over into single.php. Right here where it has tags and then div and then nothing. I'm gonna put this inside of here. It's just gonna put some metadata inside of there. Then after the comments template, I'm gonna close off the div. This is actually gonna be for post lists. I'm not gonna put it in this time, the comment that is. And then right after the end while, we have to close the main content. And there you go, single.php is finished. So let's file save that, jump into search.php. Here again, after these two closing divs, I gotta close off post lists, the div there. And then guess what? Right after the end while, I gotta close off main content div. File save it, now search is fixed. Jump into page.php. And this time we're gonna close both of those divs off right after the end while and if part. Put in div, that's gonna close off post lists. And then put in another div, that's gonna close off main content. And if we file save that, then reopen our website. And here we are on the blog page, but, but if we would click over and say we want to look at an individual post, you can see now that that's all nice and neat. And as well, if we would look at the search bar, type in invest, for example, you can see the, inv the search results are coming out really nice. And of course, if we just click on this sample page, which doesn't really have anything on it, you can see that everything lines up nicely there. I'm going to continue to add some plugins here based off of the requests I've received from you guys. If there are any other additional requests, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, till next time.